Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and today I got a request for uh, suggestions on what to do once you hit max level. So um, I'm gonna give you kind of the different things you can do starting with what I always do first, which is dailies and dungeons. Um, so in Cataclysm, uh, no, bleh, Mists of Pandaria, wake up, I need to wake up, okay. In Mists of Pandaria, um, they added a new feature, which was um, you can champion a faction so that when you do a her random heroic dungeon or the first time you do a random scenario and the first time you do a random heroic, I should say, um, you'll get extra reputation for whatever faction you're currently championing. Championing? You know, you know what I mean. Um, so, um, I would recommend picking one and keeping it the same and just kind of going from there. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, my other suggestion, I guess, would be. Um, oh, I can't brain. I have the dumb. Um, my other suggestion would be to go to the farm, your farm in Valley of the Four Winds. Do all the quests there, in Half Hill, um, and then unlock the jobs so that you can um, get reputation with that faction that way as well. And then as soon as you hit Revered, you will get a... Uh, you will get the uh, bonus reputation. You can buy a commendation and it unlocks... Um, you get reputation twice as fast. So getting to Exalted will take the same amount of time it took you to get... Getting from Revered to Exalted will take you the same amount of time that it took you to get from uh, Honor to Revered. And then... Or roughly the same time. Anything at reviewed right now? Yeah, okay, so it just a little bit less, but it speeds it up significantly, which is really, really nice. Um, and then, uh, so the different factions that you do, I recommend doing Golden Lotus first um, because it helps unlock story stuff, and you can get a bunch of other achievements by doing that one. Um, your other options are uh, Operation Shield Wall, which is in uh, Krasarang. Um, this is for Alliance. Horde, yours is Domination Point. So Alliance, you will be in Lion's Landing, and Horde, you are somewhere over here um, in Domination Point. I don't remember the exact location. I'm sorry, I've never gotten a Horde past like level 40, so apologies. Eventually I will maybe know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to work on getting a Horde to max level so I can at least somewhat know what I'm talking about, so apologies for that. Um, the next one you can get is Order of the Cloud Serpent, which is in Jade Forest at the Arboretum. And that one, um, it works, I'm trying to think, it works kind of like um, Netherwing did in Outland. You have a bunch of dailies and at the end of it you get a mount, essentially. You're raising, you do dailies with this pet for some of them and then eventually your pet grows into a full mount. And it works like that. Or kind of like if you were going for the Winter Frost Sabers or the, uh, whatever the Raptor one is for the Horde. The, uh, Dark Scale Raptors, I think. That doesn't sound right, but I hope you guys know what I mean. The one where you do 20 dailies, then you end up with a mount. Um, okay. And then the next one is the, uh, Shadow Pan. Shadow Pan, you used to have to get Golden Lotus to Revered before you could unlock Shadow Pan and August Celestial dailies. No longer the case. Shadow Pan, you go to Town Long Steps, go to the Shadow Pan Garrison, you'll get one of three sets of dailies. Um, one will take you around the fire camp, one will take you around Scrivesse, and the other will take you, I think it's just in this, yeah, it's in like the general area around Crevesse. Um, Augustus, the Augustus, August Celestial, sorry, is right here in, um, how do I move you? No, I can't. Okay. Um, you go to your shrine, and on the bottom of the floor, again, I don't know the horde one very well but for alliance at least it's underneath and you want to find the august celestial's quartermaster and he will give you a quest my so this one's a temple of the jade serpent and you will go to just a second here that'll do and you will either get sent to temple of the jade serpent or you will get sent to the new Zhao temple you could get sent to uh temple of the red crane which will actually be cradle of chiji which will be down here or you will get sent to the Temple of the White Tiger. And uh, if those sound familiar, 
it's because the animal spirit guardian whatever um from each of the temples are the main bosses that you fight in the uh celestial court on the timeless isle uh the next faction is the Claxty, and the Claxty are in dreadway so you can pretty much get a faction per zone um yeah you get a faction per zone um and the Claxy, you need to go to Claxy Vest, and you will get a series of dailies. And the further you get along, the uh, more paragons you will unlock, and they will give you more dailies. And some of them take you around in here, some of them take you up here, some of them take you down here, some of them take you around Zen Vest, some of them are in the Bridey Muck. Um, you just have to go around. And I did a video previously on the Claxy, so you can know where to go to unlock all eight paragons, because that's an achievement unto itself. And the Lore Walkers are in. Well, there's a couple ways you can do lore walkers. They do have a couple dailies, um, mainly to do. I think they have. We only have one daily, one or two dailies for sure. And they are up in here in the Mogushan Palace, and you just go. It's the top or top one, so it's up in here. And you hand in um, artifacts from Pandaren or Klaxi or uh, Mogu relics. And you get reputation but the easiest way that i found to do it was to go for the i have to find them uh is it under exploration i don't remember yes uh the all the lore objects getting all the lore objects i think i've, I've briefly talked about this before but doing all of the lore objects will get you um a item in the mail once you get the achievement it starts a quest you fly back to the lore master start the lore master area where the quartermaster is and doing the quest you have to watch a story which is all about the lore that you just gathered and then you get some reputation so that's a good way to do it um and there is lore all over pandaria they're in all the little zones of pandaria but they're they are also in uh, isle of the, not isle of giants sorry isle of thunder there's uh, two separate achievements for Isle of Thunder, and you have to run all over the place, so that's pretty fun. Um, and then the last one is the Tillers. Now, the Tillers... Well, sorry, I lied. Sorry. The next one is the Angler. We'll do Tillers last. Anglers, um, dailies, is the only way to get reputation with them. Um, and you will go to Cross the Rang, to the Angler's Wharf, and there are three different dailies that you will get. There's an achievement to do all of them eventually. Um, and they involve killing stuff and fishing stuff and the usual. Um, but there is a secondary faction underneath the anglers, which is Nat Pagel, and you get Nat Pagel rep by, um, fishing up those rare fish that start quests. And there's four, and I don't remember what all of them are, but you get them, you can fish them up anywhere. And then, again, Tillers is the last one. Okay, so Tillers, one, two, three, four, five, so there's ten people and what you do is you go to tillers and the people are separate i should point start off by saying um you go to half hill and you go to the main market zone and you will get all sorts of dailies plus one daily for a person and doing the daily doing the dailies for the rest of them will get you tokens and well they won't get i'll get you tokens one of them will get you tokens we'll get you an iron pot token but um, the rest will get you rep and then one of the dailies will get you uh, rep with an individual person now what you can also do is you can look for the little mounds of dirt all around um, the heartland so anywhere in here and up on the edge of this uh, little the sky range here but definitely all in here there's these little dirt mounds and they will have a chance to drop blue items which you can turn in um, it's a repeatable so you can turn in as many as you like and they will get you more rep you can also make um basic recipes so if i open up my cooking here you can see chi chi likes blue feathers so if you find a blue feather give it to her the if you mouse over the item it will also say which two people like them so there's another one that like blue feathers so yeah old hill policy likes blue feathers but they also each like a different basic recipe so chi chi likes valley stir fry and you can turn in five a day so if you make if you get five reef octopus Octopi and five uh, wild fowl, wild fowl breast. Wow, I need to wake up. I need caffeine. 
Um, if you do that, if you make five of those, you can turn them in for more rep. And if you do blue feathers, you can turn them in for more rep. Um, I believe the the cooking one you can only do once a day, but the um, blue items that you get from the mounds, or you can also pick them up from farming, you can do as many times as you like. Um, and there are five different ones, blue feathers, jade cats, marsh lilies, ruby shards, and lovely apples. And so all of them, there's, there's I think, two people for each one. Is that maybe the ruby one? Apparently not the ruby one, but that's okay. Um, so anytime you find them, you can give them to two. You can give them to other people as well, I believe, but they won't give you as much rep. So try and, if you have the, let's say you get uh, blue feathers, so Chi Chi and Old Hillpaw, and you've got them both to best friend, but you still have it, you can give it to anybody else, but for a little bit less reputation. Um, the cooking does not work that way. Everyone has their own individual recipe, I believe. So valley stir fry, shrimp dumplings, wild, f wild fowl roast, twin fish platters, swirling mist soup, tiger steak, sauteed apples, and braised turtle and eat turtle blossom fish. So you've got some variety. Um, so whatever you have on hand really is usually what works. And that is it pretty much. Um, again, when you get to revered by the commendation, it makes getting from revered to exalted way faster and It'll also if you need if you want to do it on other characters it's the count wide so that's if you want to do rep um the other thing you can do is the wrong button dungeons and dungeons net you valor um they will net you bonus reputation gold and you'll get uh justice points from every boss um you can queue for specific ones but you won't get the uh bonus valor um which you get the bonus every day you can get you can run the dungeons as many times as you like though and you still get uh, justice points for doing it. Um, scenarios, you'll get the bonus once a day. Um, you can also queue for heroic scenario, but you need to be in a complete group to queue for it. You have to have a full group of three. You can't queue up for a random heroic without a full group, like just on your own. But you get your extra heroic cache of treasures, which is really, really nice for the heroic ones. Um, again, you get bonus reputation for both of them, and you'll get justice points throughout, I believe. Um, raid finder you can do, but you need minimum... Uh, you need a minimum item level in order to queue for them so don't do that you won't be able to do that as soon as you get 90 you're gonna have to do a little bit of grinding for gear um, and I think flex rates are the same you can also do so that's more PvE style uh, PvP style you can do and I can't push the button because it's hot heat so we're going to go to where's PvP there we go okay so, you can queue for Battlegrounds. Um, so, the Call to Arms right now, I will open up the calendar and show you. So, every week there are two Call to Arms, and they last from Friday to Tuesday, and then from Tuesday to Friday. So, the Call to Arms right now is the Silver Shard Mines, so you can see um, here. So, Hallow's End, Hallow's End ends, Day of the Dead begins, Call to Arms, Silver Shard Mine begins, Altar Valley ends. So, we are running from 3 a.m. Friday morning until 3 a.m. Tuesday morning, Silver Shard Mines gets you bonus um, honor, and I think maybe some extra bonus conquest. And then Tuesday morning at 3 a.m. when Silver Shard Mine ends, War Song Gulch begins, and then that goes to Friday, etc., etc. So, so yeah, the you the random you can queue for random or you can queue for the call to arms. You can join or you can join as a group and then the world battles are the ones with like 40 to 50 people um sometimes more sometimes less it's harder for them to queue winter grasp is in north rent uh it's this little zone here and the other one is uh tolbarad which came out in kata and that one is over here and you do the fighting in tolbarad and then you do uh dailies in Tolbra Peninsula. Alliance does them here and Horde does them. Well, you do them all in here, but your zone, starting zone is here and Horde is in here. You can do uh, Arena. You no longer need to have um, teams. You can just queue up with your friends. So you can do 2v2, you can do 3v3, you can do 5v5, and then Rated Battlegrounds, um, which are only specific battlegrounds and you need 10 people, so it would only be, let's see, I don't even remember which ones have 10 anymore, I'm sorry. 
Um, so there's only like two or three, I think, that you can do for raided. Um, and then war games. You need to be in a complete group. You can do it with any... Anyone. And you just challenge other groups of people. This is very popular for raids. Um, other things you can do at Endgame. You can do Isle of Thunder, which is pretty much dead now because the storyline is done. You can do Timeless Isle, which is where everybody is pretty much right now. Um... You can do dailies, you can do old content, which is something that I usually do as I run a lot of old content, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that you can do. Go for achievements, run old content, do new content, do quests, do dailies, do dungeons, do raids, do PvP. The world is your oyster. Anyway, hope you found that helpful, guys. Please leave comments down below for more video ideas. I liked this one. I hope you found it helpful. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.